Now, for most people, the default way to use a gimbal is to hold it roughly at eye level and to walk around capturing shots like this. Nothing wrong with that. You can get some great shots that way. But what if I told you it was entirely possible to get epic looking gimbal footage without even moving your feet? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. It's coming up. <laughs> Hey everyone, Steve here from Learn Online Video and today I am in northern France at this old chapel where I'm going to be showing you eight gimbal moves without even moving your feet. Super easy with epic looking results. I'm going to be shooting everything on the iPhone 11 as well as the Hoem iSteady Mobile Plus. This is a great gimbal for these types of shots. As always, I will link all gear used in this video as well as my camera settings in the description below. And at the end of this video, I'll edit all of these shots together into a sequence with music, sound effects and color grading to see what results we get. So let's kick things off with gimbal move number one, the push through. Okay, the push through. Find something to push your gimbal through. Doorways work great for this. Bend your arm back and push your gimbal forwards. Lean through this shot with your upper body. The result, an epic push forward shot. Perfect for establishing a scene or location. Okay, number two, the slider reveal. Find a focal point and use something in the foreground to reveal it. A slide motion from left to right or right to left works best for this. Keep your shot nice, smooth and steady. Also, experiment with lenses if you've got them. I'm using the iPhone 11 with its wide angle lens. Equally, this is the same shot using the standard lens. Still looks great. The standard lens will work best if your subject is further away, like this shot here. But experiment with what you've got and get creative. Number three, the look up slider. Okay, since we're sliding, let's try one looking up. Feet locked on the ground, lean your body weight from one leg to another with your camera pointing up. This is a really easy move to pull off and gives you a completely unique perspective of your focal point. A slight variation on this would be to move your camera forwards or backwards instead of left and right. Also, don't forget to layer your shots. Use foreground, midground, and background to create depth and a much more interesting shot. Number four, the fake crane shot. We've got our smartphone, gimbal, and we're now introducing a light stand. We're going to start by unscrewing the tripod from the bottom of our gimbal. Then using this quarter inch thread, screw the gimbal onto your light stand, balance your phone and you're good to go. Extend your light stand as far as it will go. A bit like fishing. Frame your focal point, stand up nice and smooth, lift that camera as high as it will go. And just like that, using nothing but a smartphone, gimbal and a second hand light stand, you've just bagged yourself an epic crane shot without even moving your feet. Experiment with this shot, but I find it works best with foreground when you reveal your focal point. Get low and lift up. You can, of course, use a monopod or boom pole for this, but I had a light stand with me, so I made the most of what I had. This is the hero shot as far as I'm concerned. A great opener for a cinematic sequence. The ultimate way to set the scene. Also, don't worry if you don't have a light stand. You can replicate this shot just using your gimbal. Find some foreground, get your camera low to the ground and lift. We'll call this one the mini jib. Great for revealing a location and can really help add production value to your footage. Bonus tip, use your tripod. Instead of unscrewing your tripod when it's not in use, try folding it down and keeping it attached. This gives you more to hold on to. This will come in very useful for the next move, the low rider. Back to basics with this one, but having your tripod attached will give you that extra reach you need to get low to the ground. The low rider is great for picking out details close to the ground and adds a really nice creative perspective to your videos. Number six, the stretch out lean back. Find a focal point, stretch your arms out and slowly lift them and begin to lean back. Foreground is crucial with this one. Keep lifting your arms up until your camera is just above your head. This shot is great for slowly revealing your focal point and adds a nice movement to your foreground. Also, you can reverse a lot of these shots. You might find this one easier stretching up and leaning forwards, for example. The shot still looks just as smooth and sometimes it's easier to pull off. 
Number seven, the cinematic orbit. Find a focal point, you'll need to find one that's small this time, something with a bit of distance between it and its background. This time we're going to open our camera app, select slow motion. Now get nice and close to your focal point, tap and hold the screen to lock focus and exposure, hit record, and then gradually orbit your camera around your focal point. Nice, smooth, and steady. This will create a really smooth shot with an out of focus background. This technique can really help give your footage that cinematic feel. A slight variation on this would be to push your camera forwards, keeping your focal point nice and centered. Then start with your shot out of focus, slowly push forward until your subject is revealed in nice crisp focus. Number eight, the look up crane shot. Okay, we're going to start by crouching down with our camera pointing up close to a wall. We're going to slowly stand up, pushing our camera up and as close to the wall as we can. Let your legs do the majority of the work with this one, but reach up at the end with your arms for an extra long shot. Look for walls that have some texture. This makes for a much more interesting shot. Now, this clip isn't particularly smooth, but don't worry because I'm just about to fix this in the edit. So those were eight gimbal moves as individual clips. Now let's edit all of this footage together to create a sequence sequence using music, sound effects, and color grading. So there you have it, those were eight gimbal moves without even moving your feet. Hopefully this video has helped inspire you just to think a little bit differently next time you're out with your gimbal. If it has and you found this video useful, do let me know, give it the old thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more content like this, learn more about video production, you can do that by watching one of my other tutorials just over there. But that's it from me. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.